Question 1. Right sheeted portion has fraction. Arrange them in ascending and descending order using correct sign less than equal greater than between the fractions. So first mark them. There are only one sheeted portion out of 8. And then we can see three sheeted portions. Then we have 4. Marking it as third. I'm arranging it in greater order. Similarly, fourth part. So 1 over 8, 3 over 8, 4 over 8, and 6 over 8 is the correct order. Next one, we have arranged it again. First is 3 out of 9. Second is 4 out of 9. And similarly, all things have been shaded up. And then we have to write down 3 over 9. It's less than 4 over 9, it's less than 6 over 9, and so on, 8 over 9. We just have to define them. Show 2 over 6, 4 over 6, 8 over 6, 6 over 6 on number line. Number line is a representation of various numbers or fractions. So let's divide whole number into part of 8. Here we go, marking it, 1, 2, two 8. So we have to write 2 over 6 based upon the things 4 over 6 and 6 over 6, 8 over 6. We just have to represent these things. Now, using the signs, this is having same denominator, therefore highest numerator would be greater. Similarly, 0 means nothing, 3 over 6 would be greater. And here again, 6 over 6 would be greater. It is 6 parts out of 6. Here we have 8 parts out of 6 that would be greater than 5 over 6. This is your first question. Second is compare the fractions and put an appropriate sign. You have to compare and then use signs. So, same denominator, therefore greater numerator. Here we have to convert them to make like fractions. Multiplying with 4 and 7 respectively, it would be 4 over 28. 4 over 28. And the other one would be 7 over 28. Now, bases are same. So, 7 is greater than 4. Therefore, 7 over 28 is greater. And then, here it is easier. 5 over 5 is greater. And this one has to be changed. But, since this is greater. Make five more such pairs and put appropriate signs. Now, we have randomly selected some of them. Now, first case, bases are same, so great number of would be having greater sign. Here, bases are again same, six is greater. Now, here, numerator are same, so it happens inverse. Lesser would be greater. Again, eight by two would be greater because numerator are same. That is how we have to do this. Now, based upon this number line, look at the figure and write the signs between the given fractions using this picture. 1 over 6 or 1 over 3. As you can see, 1 over 6 is lesser than 1 over 3 in the picture. Similarly, 3 over 4, it is here. And 2 over 6. You have to find 2 over 6. It is downwards the last line 2 over 6 so 3 over 4 is greater as you can see than 2 over 6 so we have to mark it or we have to convert or we can also convert it by the other ways so 3 over 4 is greater than 2 over 6 as also shown in the picture So we have done two questions. Now 2 over 3 over 2 over 4. Numerator are same. Therefore, lesser denominator would be greater. That is 2 over 3 would be greater. Same could be seen in picture. 2 over 3 is greater than 2 over 4. Now 6 over 6 is 1 and 3 over 3 is also 1. So they are equal and also could be seen in the picture. So the last one. Done. 5 over 6 or 5 over 5. Obviously, 5 over 5 would be greater because whole fraction is 1. Now, you can also see it in picture. 
So, this is true. Now make five more such problems and solve them with your friends. Based upon this picture only, we have selected some random problems. You can select any of them. Now you just have to use the signs 1 over 1, 1 over 2. Obviously, 1 over 1 is greater than 1 over 2 as shown in picture. Therefore, 1 over 1 is great. Sure. So 2 over 3 over 2 over 2. 2 over 2 is obviously greater than 2 over 3. Therefore, we can mark less than sign to 2 over 3. Now 3 over 6 and 2 over 5. As you can see in the picture again. So 3 over 6 is obviously greater than 2 over 5. 2 over 3 and half. 2 over 3 is greater than half. Half is above 2 over 3. So it is greater to some extent. Alright. Last one is 2 over 3 and 3 over 6. 2 over 3. And uh, 3 over 6. You can see. The last one. 3 over C. 2 over 3 is greater. Therefore, greater sign. That's how it has done. How quickly can you do this? All right. Numerator same. So basis having smaller would be greater. 2 over 4 and 3 over 6. So what you can do in this case is half. 3 over 6 is again half and 2 over 4 is half. So equal sign. C part. Multiply it with 3 and 5 respectively to make it like fractions. You have 9 over 15 and 10 over 15. So now the denominator like 10 is greater. Now D part. It's simple. 4 to the 8 multiply with 2. First part. Or you can do make it like fractions again. Multiplying with other denominators. Second one is 8 over 32. 24 is bigger. Therefore, greater sign. Here, bases are same. Bases are denominators. So, and here also, 7 is greater. What about this? Just reduce it. 1 over 4. So, it turned out to be equal. Again, multiply the second fraction by 2. Make it like. What is the 8? It would be 8 over 10. Obviously, 4 over 5 is greater than 6 over 10. Therefore, create a sign. Now, 3 over 4, multiply with 2, 4 to the 8, and above numerator becomes 6. So, 7 over 8 is greater than 3 over 4. So, create a sign. And here, 5 to the 10, or 4 to the 8, again, 4 by 5 is greater than 6 by 10. It's equal. 7 to the 21, and 5 to the 15. The following fractions represent just three different numbers. Separate them into three groups of equivalent fractions by changing them 1 to the simplest form. Let's reduce all of them. 2 over 12 is simple, 1 over 6. Right, it's 1 over 6, as simple as that. Again, 3 5 is 15, 1 over 5. Again, first divide it by 2, that is 4 to the 8, 25. Not reducible further, so 4 over 25. 2, that's divided by 2. 2 8 is 16, and this is 50, 52 is 100. And 4 to the 8 and 25. It would again make 4 over 25 to reducible form. Let's cancel 0 zeros. As simple as that. 1 over 6. 15 and 3. Or 15 and 20. Sorry. 15 into 3 is 25. Here we have uh, 1 over 5. Again, each part is 8 over 48. Or you can say 4 to the 8 and... Uh, to 24 again reducing it to 1 over 6 12 over 75 simple 12 4 and this goes with 25 not further reducible 12 2 6 to 12 and 2 3 to 6 2 6 to 12 6 6 to 36 1 over 6 3 6 to 18 it is very simple the next one 3 6 to 18 1 over 6 and not reduce so let's group them with different colors three have the same one over six and uh, this part is one over five and we have four over 25 also we have three different parts so let's arrange them one over six have a e h j k 
as you can see in similar colors 105 is BFG and 4025 is CDIL. Find answers to the following. Write and indicate how you solve them. Let's solve them. Is it equal? So first make them like. 5 5 is a 25, 5 is a 45, 9 5 is a 40, uh, 9 4 is a 36, and uh, 9 5 is a 45. Be 36 over 45, so 36, not equal. So let's cross them, not equal. B part is uh, 9 over 16. Let's make them like again. So multiplying first part with 9 and other part with 16. That would be 81 over 16 into 9 would give you 100. It gives you 144. So let's just first use it equal sign. Is it 80 over 144? No. So let's cross it again. Second part is also incorrect. Third is 4 over 5 equal to 16. Let's make it like 4 over 5 is a 16 over 20. Yes, they are equal. And D part 1 over 15. Obviously, 2 multiplying with 2, it would give 2 over 30, which is not equal. That's how we have to do this. Eighth one, Ella read 25 pages of a book containing 100 pages. Lalita read 2 over 5 of the same read list. So we are given with pages read by Ella, 25, and uh, out of total 100. So 25 pages she read. And pages read by Lalita is 2 over 5 of the same. Same means the 100, because the book is same. So reduce it, 520. This gives you 40. So it's as simple as that. Uh, but we can conclude that Ella read less number of pages than Lalita. Because it's asked who read less, therefore we can say Ella read less. Ella read less number of pages. That's our answer. Rafiq exercised for 3 over 6 of an hour, while Rohit exercised for 3 fourths of an hour. Who exercised for longer time? So first of all, let's write the given part. 3 over 6 for Rafiq and 3 over 4 for Rohit. Now let's make them like fractions. Converting both fractions to like fractions, we get, uh, what do we get? 3 over 6 into 4 gives 12 over 24, similarly. For Rohit, 18 over 24. So we can conclude 18 over 25 is greater. Therefore, Rohit exercised for a longer period of time. So this is how you have to do it. Last question. In a class, A, 25 students, 20 passed out of them. And for the B, 24 passed out of 30. Which has greater fraction of students passed? Given is class A, 25 students. And out of them passed only 20 students, that is 5 failed. Class B is 30 students and passed 24 and 6 failed. So let's convert them into fractions. Then we have to find out which is greater. So 20 out of 25 for class A, let's write it down. This question represents past. We have to find past. So 20 over 25 for class A and 24 out of 30. Let's reduce it now. That gives you 4 5 is a 20, 5 5 is a 25, that gives you 4 over 5. Again, here also you get 12 to the 24 and 15 to the 30, again 4 over 5. Hooray! We got both the same fractions, so both fractions are equal. Therefore, both classes have equal fraction of past students. That is your answer.